Hey, OG, let's take out the magnifying glass and help somebody do better with their money. Today's hotline call comes to us courtesy of magnifymoney.com. When you go to stackybenjamins.com slash magnify money, you'll find those financial products used every day. Nowhere near best in class because over 92% of all the products available online ranked head to head at magnify money. Head to stackybenjamins.com slash magnify money for more. And today we're going to help Nathan magnify his money. Say hi, Nathan. Hello. Joe and OJ, this is Nathan from Portland, Oregon. I have a mortgage question for you. I have three commercial mortgages, and next year I plan to have enough from the sale of my house to be able to pay off one of the three mortgages. The first one has only three years left, and it is a current mortgage payment of $4,500. The second and third both have 20 years left, but each one has a payment of $2,000 a month. So I'm wondering if it's better to eliminate the $4,500 a month one, even though it only has three years left, or if it's better to eliminate one of the two 20-year mortgages on two other properties that I have that only will net me $2,000 a month in cash flow. But because they're amortized, I would be saving a lot more of interest. So I wondered which way you guys would go. I figured you guys can help me with the math. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for the question, Nathan. And actually, Nathan, for you and uh, and actually people in uh, in Portland, Oregon, I got a I've got a question for you. But uh, I'll ask my question later because it's unrelated to this. Has more to do with me coming to Portland. Uh, but OG, wh- what do you think? Do you save the forty five hundred bucks, or do you? take a big bite out of that amortization table by chunking money down on the, on the 20 years. So I guess a couple of thoughts. Firstly, I'm concerned about the idea of crossing over. He said from the sale of my house, I'll have all this extra money, commercial mortgage, you know, dot, 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 dot. And I, I get that everything just kind of all rolls into the same, you know, in the, into the same family eventually. If you have three commercial properties, they all have their own profit and loss statement, and then all of that kind of funnels onto you. And and you're the person who's in charge of all that. So eventually it all goes to you. But I wonder if there's not a better place for your personal money than on the commercial mortgages. But that being said, um, I would go after the one that's going to um, uh, save you the most cash flow. He said that one's got three years left. So 4,500, 4,500 a month for three years. Yeah. That's 120 K just about, uh, more than that. 150. He doesn't give us the balances, does he? No. And, and, and that is part of the, that's, that's part of the issue. We don't have, I don't have balance and I don't have interest rate. And I think the other piece that I would want to know um, is also what what does he need more of? Does he need more cash flow, or or does he need to save more dollars? Because yeah. assuming without looking at what he's going to do with the money afterwards, so the forty five hundred dollars he 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 saves, obviously he's going to save a bunch of money on the mortgages by going after those twenties. Right. Yeah. I mean, I guess. <clears throat> But that is a lot of cash flow. That's what I was going to say. So assuming that the balances are in the ballpark of even, right? That's basically what he's, I guess what he's saying is I can pay this one off three years early, saves me 4,500 bucks a month. Or I can pay this one off 20 years early and saves me 2,000 a month. So that must mean the balances are very similarly situated. Um, I like the idea of the cash flow only if you're going to take the 4,500 bucks and put it on the other mortgage. You know what I mean? Like, why not have your cake and eat it too? Like, take don't take the money and then and then add it to the bottom line right now. Snowball this so that you, yeah, are able to just aggressively pay down. Alternatively, you could do it the other way too, right? You could say, well, I'm going to take, I'm going to pay this one off, save all this interest, and then take the two thousand dollars a month and apply it to because I've only got three years. That'll cut that mortgage off in fifteen months probably. So, um. You could you could do the amortization and kind of work out the math and see which one works out better. But if we had a little bit more data, I think I think we could pin it down. But but um, only but if you're like, going to take the extra money and apply it to something. 
I do like that idea of applying it to the extra loan. Get rid of the forty five hundred dollars of. Uh, I mean, with just the information we know. Well, it has to be that way, or you just have to take your money and invest it, you know, normally. Yes, right, right. Like you, you, your money has to make more money. That's the point. And that's where I want to know about the rest of the stuff, because it's important to know if he's ahead or behind on his other goals. Yeah, absolutely. Because if he's ahead on his other goals, then he can afford to do some low interest rate decisions that feel much more comfortable. If he's behind, he might have to be a little more aggressive. So uh, Nathan, thanks a lot for that. If you've got a question for us, head to stackybenjamins.com slash voicemail, and we are uh, happy to answer uh, your question. And by the way, OG, as we're seeing inflation tick up, I think the interest rate risk now becomes a little bigger as well. So uh, this is also a great time, not just for Nathan, I think, but for everybody to be thinking about their debt strategy. Because if you don't have a debt strategy now, how many years in a row have we been saying this? You have a debt strategy now, at some point interest rates are going to go up, but now it's starting to look like it might be sooner rather than later. A lot of, lot of data uh, on, the, on the inflationary front kind of leads me to believe that we, we could see higher interest rates, which means lock your debt down. Yeah. Yep. Uh, or just don't have any. Or just don't have it. Yeah. It's uh, way better to not have that. Yeah. 